I'm going to roll out a slab and flip and roll. Clay is a really interesting material. Um, it's such a wonderful medium. Uh, you can push things into it. It takes on, I call it um, a master impersonator because it can take on any impression that you roll into it. So uh, here's a little slab. It also has a memory. So uh, if you move your slab after you're done, it can uh, take on that, that uh, warpage and warp later on, which is a little frustrating. So you have to be very careful once you have it rolled out. So I'm gonna get some broccoli and uh, put some broccoli in here. And typically I would uh, have this on a board and do this, but uh, I just wanna show you the fun part of uh, preparing a slab and pushing in the broccoli. So you can take, a, for me, I always start off with a horizon line, some kind of stamp. And then if I wanted to use a found object, such as you know, this little chunk of wood that can get rocked in there. Let's see, even these little pieces of wood. Sometimes the most basic things make the most interesting stamps. A little walnut action. And then uh, we were eating broccoli uh, during COVID, we were, eat, we were trying to be a little bit healthy and um, we were chopping vegetables and my husband Mike said, this broccoli looks like a little tree. And so of course the broccoli went out to the studio. So when I put it in, I'm gonna rock it in. I try to get all the little um, limbs in there, kind of push it around and then I can pull it out. the broccoli little stems, those will fire away. And if, you, if I need to um, get a different angle on the broccoli, I can take a knife and expose the inside of the broccoli to get a different view. Kind of trim it down to make this a little shorter. So I won't be eating this broccoli afterwards though. <laughs> surprised how long it stayed alive when I wrapped it up with a damp paper towel because I used the same broccoli for uh, quite a few pieces. Use this little guy and this will give me a different angle but I'll cut the him a little bit shorter for a shorter tree. Pop that out. You know, working with, uh, as an artist, it's always fun to keep things alive and fresh and uh, discovering new subject matter and looking at life a little different. It's, it's wonderful. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little kid when I find things on the ground or I see something in a different way that I have to stop and kind of take notice of how something grows or moves. But if you can see this, but that's how I make my broccoli trees.